Dear students, very good morning. Today we are going to discuss about transmission medium in communication networks. So let's discuss what is transmission medium. Transmission medium has a two type. One is the guided medium and another one is the un unguided medium. What are the types of guided medium? It has a twisted pad cable, coaxial cable, fiber optical cable. Let's discuss what is mean by uh, twisted pad cable. A real time example it has the uh, cable tb cable is called a twisted pad cable so it has the two frequency 100 megahertz 100 hertz and 5 megahertz outer insulator or pvc solid copper condition shield twisted pad in this diagram we can understand shield twisted pad it has a plastic cover metal sheet after the insulation finally copper is available transmission medium and shield twisted pad shield twisted pad we have a twisted pad cable outer jacket or j45 connector it is used for the lan connection shield trans twisted pad stp and shield twisted pad <coughs> Twisted pair cabling, most common LAN cable called a Cat5 or 1000 base T cable. Four pairs of copper cable twisted may be shielded from interference. Twisted pair cable, in twisted pair cable technology, two copper wires are strung between two points. Twisted pair cable can carry both analog and digital signals. Data rates of several megabits per second common. What are the typical characteristics of the twisted pair cable? Twisted pair cable can be used for both analog and digital communication. The data rate that can be supported over the twisted pair is inversely proportional to the square of the line length. Okay, so coaxial cable. Till now we discussed about twisted pair cable. After that we move on coaxial cable. Okay. Uh, carrier signals of higher frequency ranges than twisted pair cable. Uh, in twisted pair cable, we only handle uh, ki uh, kilohertz, megahertz. <coughs> Center core conductor, solid or standard wire, outer conductor, metal foil, bright or a combination of both. Coaxial cable connector, it is used to connect coaxial cable to devices. Okay, so BNC connector used to connect the uh, to the end of the cable to the device. BNC T connector used to, to branch out a connection to a computer to other devices. BNC terminator used at the end of the cable to prevent the reflection of the signal. Attenuation is much higher in coaxial cable than to a star pair cable. So the signal weakens rapidly and requires the frequent use of repeaters. The finally, in guided medium, a fiber optic cable. A fiber optic cable is made of glass or plastic and transmits signals in the form of light. If the ray of the light <coughs> traveling through one substance sub suddenly enters into another substance the ray changes direction uh, figure shows the uh, how a ray of light changes direction when going from uh, when going from from a <coughs> more dense to less dense substance fiber optic operation principle optical fiber used reflection to guide light through a channel okay so in this diagram we can understand the principle of fiber optic operation it has a core central one is the core and outer one is the cladding propagation mode it has a two mode multi mode single mode multi mode has a step index and graded index in multi mode communication multi mode step index fiber density of the core remains constant from the center of the edges a beam of light a beam of light moves in straight line through the constant density core until it reaches the core cladding interface where the angle of uh, angle of the beam's motion is altered due to uh, change in the density multi-mode step index multi-mode graded index fiber Multi-mode graded index fiber has the source and destination. Here, two lines of communication is occurred. Single mode, only one single wire is supplied. 
fiber sizes optical fibers are defined by the ratio of uh, diameter of the core to the diameter of the cladding 5 by 125 50 micrometer core <coughs> fiber construction outer jacket buffer and then fiber fiber construction outer jacket is maybe pvc what are the advantages and disadvantages of optical fiber it has higher bandwidth disadvantages installation and maintenance requires high cost unguided medium till now we discussed about guided medium so guided medium we discussed about twisted pair coaxial and fiber optical in unguided medium we are going to discuss about radio communication here a uh, higher way of communication high frequency ranges is used okay unguided medium from the terrestrial microwave satellite communication uh, geno geosynchronous satellite a cellular system is the real time example of unguided medium wireless medium so thank you students i hope you understand the concept of transmission media it is the basic concept in communication network mainly we have wired transmission medium wireless transmission medium uh, another way we can call it is guided medium or unguided medium unguided means wireless transmission medium example bluetooth wi-fi thank you all have a great day we will discuss next session uh, regarding protocol layers and transport layers